To answer this question, first of all, we need to know what the gradient is. So what you do is you pick two points that you know the coordinates of, which is that one and that one I'm going to pick. Works with any of them. And we work out how much up and how much across it's gone. Well, it's gone one up, but I'm going to do this in pence. So I'm going to say it's gone 100 pence up and it's gone 10 uh, miles across. So to work out the gradient, we're going to do um, the change in y, so how much it's gone up, over how much it's gone across. Now, some students have that the wrong way around because coordinates work the other way around. You go along the corridor and up the stairs. With gradients, how far you go up or down over how much you've gone right. So that's going to be 10. Now, it says give an interpretation, so we haven't finished answering the question. What does that mean? Well, it means for every one mile that we've gone, it's going to cost 10 pence. Now, remember, I converted this into pence, so instead of in pounds, it's going to be pence. So the gradient is the cost per mile. And I'm going to put in brackets 10p. Now, it could be that just writing the cost per mile for this question would give you the mark. But if you actually write the gradient as well, then you definitely get the mark. And sometimes it will ask you for the gradient and then ask you to interpret it.